Today we will be looking at the molecular orbital diagram of NiFO2- which is an tetrahedral complex. The electronic configuration of nickel 28 is argon 38 4H2 and in this particular complex the oxidation state of nickel is plus 2 so the electronic configuration of nickel plus 2 ion will be argon 3D 8 4s uh, 0 and uh, this is the typical sigma bonding mo diagram of the complex the orbitals involved are nd orbital so d orbital we know it is made up of t2 and e and as the tetrahedral complex do not have the center of inversion uh, the terms girard and ungirard are not used so uh, we will only be using the mulligan symbols that is d orbital we know it splits into t2 and E. Similarly, S orbital it is the Mulliken symbol is A1 and the P orbital Mulliken symbol for tetrahedral complex is T2 and the ligand group orbitals that are A1 and T2. So, over here this A1 of the ligand will combine with the A1 of the metal and as a result we will get a bonding molecular orbital and an anti-bonding molecular orbital. Now the second orbital is T2 so the metal it has two T2s that is this 3D T2 and this is 4P T2 so this T2 this T2 and this T2 will combine to give us a bonding T2 orbital a partially anti-bonding t2 orbital and a completely anti-bonding t2 orbital so we will have three orbitals the remaining e orbital will form a non-bonding orbital fluorine is the ligand and there are four fluorines uh, in this complex and that will bring us four pair of electrons and this four pair of electrons will be occupied in the bonding molecular orbital while the metal that is nickel it has 8 electrons and those 8 electrons will be filled in uh, the non-bonding and slightly anti-bonding orbitals and this difference between the non-bonding and slightly anti-bonding is the crystal field stabilization energy. So the electrons will be filled according to Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity uh, that is one electron each will go in Eg then the third electron will go in T2, fourth electron will go in T2, fifth electron will go in T2. Now sixth electron will again come in E, seventh in E and eighth will go in T2. So this is how the electrons are arranged and there are two unpaired electrons so the complex is a paramagnetic complex and as we also know in tetrahedral complex irrespective of the strength of the ligands uh, the the magnitude of splitting energy is very less and as a result uh, no pairing of the electron will take place and it will result always in a high spin complex so this is a typical mo diagram for nifo2 minus complex thank you